Good morning. I am so late to the game on this. I've been a little bit sick and I am just, I'm kind of like, I'm like on the complete recovery now. I'm just got like a stuffy nose. I have a whole bunch of boulders in front of my house. A whole bunch, loads of them. Look at this, look at this rock pile. It's a giant rock pile. Anyway, I am so behind right now. Basically what's gonna, ha what's gonna, ha what's gonna happen is I have like four or five guys showing up to live at my house this week. Where do I start? So last year I bought this house and I had no idea that it came with koi, pi koi fish. I thought it was just a pond, but I didn't know it had fish in it. So I have been struggling with keeping this thing from going green. And I thought I got it, but I, I didn't. Here it is. Kyle, please insert struggling to keep this pond clean. I swear I've done everything I can think of. Like it is so green. I feel so bad. I started calling around, just looking for people who could like help me figure out how to just maintain it. And in doing so, I happened upon these guys who are coming over to help me. Basically, the owner said, look, you kind of need an updated pond. It's kind of what we do. Plus they have a little, a little YouTube channel, which I checked out and I was like, oh, hey, we kind of jointly decided to do like a full overhaul of the pond. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because it's like not what I planned on doing, but it's also very exciting. So we're about to like rip up the whole pond there and use those giant boulders. So they are coming up here and they do like these fun like vlogs of their work and so i thought let's just make a video together so they're coming to stay with me and i'm sorry i'm rambling but i'm just i'm nervous and excited they're gonna start arriving in like a half hour and i really have been the worst and haven't gotten anything ready so i need to like set up beds and stuff and clean the house i don't know i'm super excited in his words it's gonna look like a bomb went off so welcome to the joy ride for the week I'd like to take a moment to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Therapy has always been a go-to for me over the years, whether it's working through sadness or anxiety, or even if I've been feeling really good about life. It's always felt healthy to keep in touch with someone about my mental health through both the good and the bad. I've really liked that it's online based. As you probably know by now, I have a tendency to be in remote places, which makes physically seeing a therapist pretty hard. Getting started with BetterHelp was really easy. They assessed my needs with a short personal survey and matched me with my own licensed professional therapist. One of my favorite features is how easy it is to switch who you're matched with if needed. Therapy is really personal and matching up with the right person can be kind of tricky. So when my first match didn't feel quite right, I really appreciated how easy it was to request someone different. Now I can log into my account and message with her anytime I need to schedule an appointment or if I just need a quick check-in. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. If this sounds like a good option for you, visit betterhelp.com slash Hannah Lee. That's better betterhelp.com slash Hannah Lee to get 10% off your first month. I think I watched them go by my house earlier. <laughs> I think they missed the turn. I think they're finally here. Hey, Nick. Yes. Say hi. Hi. This is Nick's intro. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Nick the Pine King. Now, uh, this is our passion building water features. But... And lifting fake rocks. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right away I was like, what's uh, <laughs> what's under the fake rock? Scare them out of their face. Well, I, if there's like something big, it's... <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, it's the... That's, uh, septic. Yeah, that's the septic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for finding that for me. I didn't know it was there. I always wondered where that was, so thank oh, you. Man. There it is. <laughs> wow, now you're gonna be professional? <laughs> Hi, friend. You gonna help build this koi pond? Okay, I'm starting to get to know these guys and it's, it hasn't even been that long, but I think we're gonna get along. <laughs> I have to move stuff away from the koi pond because they're gonna about to rip it up. Well, first we gotta move the fish, but then we're gonna rip it up. We'll have a good demo. I always thought this was stone and it's not. At the end of the day, I think we're all just big kids with bigger toys. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road.
guys make this look a lot easier than it does when I do it. Can you say that on camera for I'm us? I'm literally <laughs> saying it on camera right now because everybody who's watched my videos has seen me struggle so hard. If I kiss you, will you become a prince? No. I would be happy to tell you. <laughs> uh, well, you were uh, contacted us and said, help with my pond. I've got some things going on. You gave us the opportunity to come here and help you with this. We're going to redo the whole pond, but we're also going to make sure it's a piece of artwork at the same time. And we agreed to an 11 by 16 pond, but right now it's a 17 by 13. I was going to so, say this looks huge. Yeah, we, we really, you have a lot of space here. Yeah. And, and being that you have that space, we, we got plenty of boulders to work with. I wanted to really maximize how big we could, could fill this space with with that living water. So I really wanted to make sure like where you're gonna be looking at it from. You said your bedroom yeah. is up there. You've got a kitchen table here. You've got an awesome sunroom there. We really wanna make sure that all those views from inside the house are nice looking out at it too. I'd like to see us be like a step down mm -hmm. and then you're at the grade of where kind of you're interacting with the pond yeah. and then kind of taper back up into the waterfall area. So um, what are you doing right now? You're like- So right spraying. now we're kind of trying to decide what we want that first tier to look like. Okay. You know, and we don't want anything to be like too uniform looking. So we call them destination boulders. It's going to be something that's a little bit larger and kind of overhangs the water a little bit and you come stand on it. So it'll be a great place to feed the fish, maybe sit down, put your legs in the water and, and just sit there and enjoy. No diving board? No diving board. No, there's too many boulders in here. He's an artist. Look at him go. He's such an artist. This is what's happening behind the scenes. Just, uh, we're just trying to take it in. You guys are just there to support, right? This is probably what, you know, Leonardo da Vinci felt like. <laughs> people watching him. Yeah. Very much like what I feel right now. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was so diva. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you guys all good with like a semblance of like Mexican food? Okay. I'm gonna make a bunch of that. Wow! <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> it looks giant. It's like blowing my mind that it wasn't here a couple hours ago, <laughs> you know? Yeah. This was definitely an instance where meal kits came in handy. I ordered like a ton. Holy shit, I can't keep up with these people. I was just on a loop and lane call and they did so much. <laughs> You hear that waterfall i don't know if you could hear him i gotta get out there because i want to see what the fuck they're doing they're moving rocks and shit i feel like i missed some fun stuff also this has been so fun weirdly weirdly adorable and cute i've been enjoying this it's like a big adult sleepover like we're just like shooting the shit making dinner they're great i love them <laughs> you guys do quick work now we gotta all rock in i'm sorry but this gopro mount yeah is hilarious 
<laughs> on the job safety cam. Look, I hope all the viewers right now are gonna back me up with this. That's not even Nick asking him to wear that. Learning how to strap a boulder. This is the one that falls. <laughs> hey. I feel like a kid in a sandbox, but more dangerous. I'm having a good time. Honestly, it's kind of funny. Like I used to work jobs like this all the time just because I wanted to learn skills. My sister and I had a like scuba diving, weeding lake job, and this is kind of reminding me of it. This is so fun because I normally like am doing things on such a small scale and it's fun to like get a bunch of big machines and I don't know, <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so I decided to come out because it's lunchtime and I decided to come out to the garden for some tomatoes, but <laughs> this little strawberry patch has never had strawberries. Swear to God. I think all the animals always get them, but look at these little strawberries. <laughs> Are there more? Did the animals leave me some? Oh, there's a couple. And then I also wanted to look over here because theoretically, jack-o'-lanterns are gonna grow. I just don't know. <gasps> there's one. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's growing. Oh, there's another one. That's gonna be a pumpkin. <laughs> the garden has really, truly gone awry because <laughs> I left for a long time and I kind of, I kind of let it go. It's kind of sad. Look at this cucumber. And then the watermelons actually started growing. They're like pretty big. There's one, two, three, four, five. Probably another one somewhere. But there's five that I can see right now. And they're so cute. And I did not think they would grow. Look at them. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a real giant large cucumber. Wow. So many tomatoes. I came out here for a tomato because I want to put a tomato on my sandwich today. Let's use it. And then look at all the Brussels sprouts. They're coming in. This tomato smells so good. I'm so excited. This is all very fun for me. Also, the fruit trees are going ape shit. Look at all the pears. Holy Toledo. And then look at the plums. Holy crapoli. That's a lot of plums. And then there's also a wasp nest. I have to deal with that. My little ones. Sweetheart. You're such a cutie. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> There's a lot of people here, huh? I know, it's gonna be huge. From like about the tree down into that and yeah there's gonna be multiple waterfalls like not like huge but like it, it's gonna be a falls kind of you know Cute. and then like all of this fucking Well, the guys have been working, but I got a bunch of pizzas, so it's gonna be a pizza party tonight. And I'm gonna go check on the progress they made. Looks like they placed a shit ton of rocks. I cannot believe this structure is gonna be in my backyard. This is like insane. Sorry, I'm staring at it. You guys haven't seen it yet. Everybody, your hands. These don't fit here. What are we doing? It's a lot of rocks. <laughs> it's a lot of rocks. Oh my Teach god. Teach me young. Oh. She's been on it since she was a teen. Oh, she's Whoa. already doing better than me. That's not fair. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Thank you! I'm 
some slacking. I got up way later than these guys did, but I have coffee. Day three. Wait, day three? Yeah. All right, what's happening now? Um, well, we are just starting our day off by focusing on some detail work. Uh, Brad right now is kind of plugging in gaps and filling in holes. What that is helping with is making sure like rodents don't try and eat through the liner over time. Uh, it also helps with any settling as the time goes on. So dirt will settle and then you'll be able to sit on that boulder put your feet in the water oh cute then... oh i love that yeah because then there's like the rock underneath it right yep, so you just yep. like set your feet right there. there and the one that put my coffee on, on that it, rock that's exactly what I was wow about. Yeah. it looks perfect but, you guys no, are amazing oh yeah not yet no your feet are in the water your feet fish are coming up there the waterfalls running because we're going straight to the deepest spot with that mm. one boulder it's a real nice drop off and fish feel a little more comfortable eating out of your hand if they know that they can escape. <laughs> I gotta chop my nails off. Okay, we're getting serious. Cut them off. What? Just like oldies or what? That's right. sitting here during lunchtime I'm staring out at my sad sad garden <laughs> I think I need to go out there and like clean it up a bit okay I have a birthday party to go to tonight so I'm leaving the guys for a little bit well, for the night. I feel bad, I feel like I need to feed them for dinner. So I'm going to make some corn chowder and throw it in the fridge and then I'm gonna head out and I won't see them tonight, but I will be back in the morning. Turns out they don't need me right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go mow the trails. I've been acting like a wild man, I'm sleeping like a child. You're so luminous and This is kind of our like what last day and a half. Yeah, Maybe we're we're, we're getting there. Last, the last like we're hoping to make a bulk of the team be in a good spot to go home today. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe put the moss down and clean up tomorrow. So right now we're doing the wetland filter over here, which I just learned a, a lot about. And if you want to learn more about it, it's probably going to be on Nick's channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to shovel. Nick the Pond King. Can I just call you Nick yet, or? No, it's Pond King. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> These guys are doing so much work and I, I don't know what I'm doing at all. So I'm just like standing here, like the new kid on the team, hoping someone tells me what to do. Apparently we're gonna foam next, me and Brad. around it. I can't 
can't wait till the water settles so that I can see it all clear and whatnot. It's 2.30 and it's espresso time. No free ads, Nick. <laughs> no free ads. It's fish time. So, moving your fish. Moving my fish. I have a problem. Uh oh. What's There's the problem? No fish in here. Well, they're in here. Oh. Uh. You can get me. <laughs> you think you can get me? Did you guys decide that they're all goldfish? They are all goldfish. They're all goldfish? Yeah. Off to your new hole. Well, I'm going to have to get some koi. Cameraman Justin. Nick's family's here helping out. Sorry guys, this is blowing my mind. I did not have any idea it was gonna turn out this crazy <laughs> awestruck. Eating a frog. Oh, oh poor God. frog. No. Oh, I feel really bad for it. Wow, that was crazy. I've never seen that before. Apparently, we're plugging it in. Which I don't know. Does that mean the waterfall starts? Oh, I missed the beatboxing. <laughs> Do it again. I better not. <laughs> I better not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now he can't stop. <laughs> Watch for those fireworks. <gasps> fireworks show? Ah! It's, it's happening. I like that bottom one a lot. I had to come up to my bedroom. So this window overlooks the pond and I need to take the screen out because I just need to see it clearly. Imagine French doors with like a little Juliet balcony. You should push open the doors. See this in the morning? Cut it out. No. <laughs> what? I live in a fairy tale. Well, the pond is officially done. The guys are sleeping over one more night because they gotta, you know, just do the finishing touches and pack everything up. So we are all going out to a little celebratory Mexican food dinner and I'm like so proud and happy of the project. Like it's so cool to see them come in and just like do their thing, you know, and like it turned out fucking amazing and I it just blows my mind that this thing was not here a week ago and it is now just this insane new part of my home blowing my mind. I'm sorry. This <laughs> Wait, is this you? Oh. Is this you? Oh my god. This no. goes on the YouTube channel. You all need these. <laughs> Justin from Minnesota. Is this how you met your wife? Oh no. Feels oh no. About that. Oh, shit. I'm just oh, like, what? This is the behind the scenes. <laughs> Nick's crying. Look at that moon. Oh my god. Freaking, you can't see it. Last day. I think we're just doing mulching.
These guys are so much better at my job, their job, the filming job, than I am. Look at them go. They're so much better at this than I am. Content creator is out in the wild. Oh, gotta get the shot. <laughs> yep, you all have to hold hands and give a good thespian bow. That's a curtsy. These gentlemen are gonna take a big ol' curtsy bow. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. guys. Okay, we're gonna do a little talk, so I'm gonna slow the water rate down for the first time to see how that works. Apparently, I just push this. Aww, are we having a bye talk? A bye talk. Bye. bye. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> So what did you think when we first pulled up? Like, definitely not this, right? No. I really, really thought you guys were going to just do, like, take out the koi pond that I had and do the same size and, like, shape and stuff, just with bigger boulders yeah. and, like, a different, like, filtration system. And then you were talking about, like, the little falls, and I thought it was really, like, just a small little thing. It's just, this is, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was also really worried, like, because you and I texted back and forth, and, like, I kept texting you with, like, Pinterest images. Yeah. <laughs> it turned out much more like this. Plus, you were saying some good good thoughts of, like, how this comes up, kind of butts up to the forest over here, and, like, how I could grow in stuff to make it look like it's just a stream coming out of the forest. I love that idea, so. But, <laughs> yeah. it, it's going to lead to more things for sure. It'll be fun yeah. to see what you do with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cameraman like, Brad. Minutes, Brad. And she was alone again.